at least two years now, uh, first up, and that's something called the President's Awards. And uh, after that, um, I'm going to um, do something also I haven't done for a long time, which is to kind of update you on what's going on in the open group at the moment. There's a lot, um, and I don't have all the time I would want, but I will do my best to cover some of the great things that are going on, what we've seen, um, and tell you a little story about uh, uh, some, some things that you may or may not know about the open group. But first, um, the all-important President's Awards. This was something that we started um, a few years ago now, and we said it would be annual, and the next one was going to be April 2020. Well, guess what? That didn't happen. So our first opportunity to do this is now. And these awards are for uh, an organization and an individual. And in both cases, it is for making very significant contributions to the Open Group. Uh, and uh, I'm going to start with the organization. Um, and it's one of the things in the Open Group that I don't have to do by consensus. I get to pick. That's why it's the President's Awards. Um, so uh, that's, the, uh, that's how this got chosen. But I, I do, obviously, in good uh, tradition of the Open Group, take input from others as to who these uh, award winners should be. And the first one I'm going to do is the organization. And I'm personally delighted um, that it is uh, Fujitsu Limited, um, the award winner. You are allowed to give applause. <laughs> Even those of you sitting, sitting in, at home or the office, wherever you are virtually, you can clap as well. But um, Fujitsu, a few words about why. Uh, Fujitsu has been a founding member of the Open Group. Uh, back in those days, when the Open Group was founded, they were called sponsors. And uh, Fujitsu was a, uh, a highest level member at both the constituent parts of the Open Group, X Open Company Limited and the Open Software Foundation. And uh, they've, they've always, uh, always been great contributors. Somewhere along the way, we lost them for a few years at that level. They never left our community completely, but they weren't sitting in their rightful place around our governing board table and bringing in lots of contributions. But then in 2016, um, we got them back um, under the uh, uh, championship of Mr. Hedamuri Furuta. Furuta-san um, championed that within Fujitsu and still does today, as I understand it. Um, and ever since then, they have been consistent um, very significant supporters, um, contributors and supporters of the Open Group generally in various different ways. And I don't want to embarrass him, but um, Mr. Chris Frost, who's over here, um, who you'll get a better view of in a minute, because um, I'm going to ask him to come up. Um, he, he has been a representative of Fujitsu on our governing board, uh, one of a team, um, but he's been uh, the consistent one over a period of years now. Great contributor also in the Architecture Forum and currently co-chair of the Digital Practitioner Workgroup here at the Open Group. So, um, Chris, thank you for your personal contributions. I also have to uh, thank um, Hideki Hara, uh, Harasan. I hope you're there or you'll see this later at a more convenient time. Uh, he's also been one of the representatives uh, on our governing board from Fujitsu almost always at a really antisocial time of day or night when the meetings happen. And he's, he always shows up and um, has done great things uh, within Fujitsu. And uh, I'd also like to thank, and Chris, if you wouldn't mind conveying this to me, and personal thanks to Faroudasan um, for continuing to be a champion. And those of you who were around last year at our 25th anniversary celebrations might remember a video that he put together it uh, must have taken him some considerable time, and in English, um, to uh, acknowledge our, our milestone event, which was great. Lastly, before I, uh, I hand this over, I do need it before I hand it over, I suppose. But before I hand it over, um, uh, I'd like to acknowledge also the role of Jack Fujieda, who is the chairman of the Open Group Japan and has been a key part of the relationship with Fujitsu, particularly um, Fujitsu headquarters in Tokyo. So that's, that's the reason why, some of the reasons why um, Fujitsu Limited is uh, the recipient this year of the President's Award for Organization. So 
Um, Chris and anyone else you'd like to join, uh, to join, please come up. It can be like the Oscars and the whole team come up. I don't, I don't mind. But please uh, come up and accept the award. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much, Steve. It will break if you drop it. Oh, I'll take care of that then. <laughs> Over to you. Yes, just to say a few words. Um, <coughs> yeah, absolutely delighted, of course, to uh, receive this on behalf of Fujitsu and everything you said. It was really through Fruta San's uh, leadership and initiative that uh, Fujitsu rejoined as a platinum member a few years ago. And uh, uh, if I've played some small part as well in making Fujitsu a valuable contributor, then I'm so pleased to have been able to do that. And, Look forward to it continuing in the future, Steve. We, we do too, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations to Fujitsu. Before I do the next one, <clears throat> I just have, a, have to have a quick costume change. Excuse me. The individual award is going to Mr. Rob Akershook. <laughs> <clears throat> so... Rob's been involved with the IT for IT forum from the start. <laughs> During his work as an IT for IT architect at Shell, together with Carol Van Zeeland, who some of you may remember, um, in 2016, Rob became the chair of the IT for IT forum. Thank you. That's a great idea. I'll give that to you, Rob. Um, and uh, he remains a very active contributor of the forum. He creates songs. Some of you will have heard them create songs managing the new digital ecosystem, making IT flow, um, linking IT for IT with DevOps and ITIL, et cetera. And he's always out on social media and LinkedIn posting things about the wonders of IT for IT. He once was the only person in our community with a fancy jacket, but not anymore. <laughs> so um, he presents numerous presentations at worldwide events and seminars, often seen in the jacket. He's styling it nicely now. He practices the IT for I standard with various customers and incorporates learnings back into the standard, currently in its next version, version three. Rob, you have been an absolute star in getting the word out. You continue to be, and you do it in such a fun, humorous way and relatable way. And uh, that's why you're chosen. So congratulations. Well, I will even give you an award. There we go, we should do that. Somebody's taking a photo, yeah. Great, over to you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, I need to say something. A few words. It, oh, you're not no, normally no. shy, so. Yeah. No, but uh, I really appreciate this. Uh, it's really an honor. It's also great to be part of this uh, open group community. Um, if you look at the last few years, I started indeed at Shell, where we started together with other organizations like HP, the IT for IT. Yeah, you can see it on my jacket, IT for IT Forum. And, um, but I took, if I look at now the new opportunities we see within the open group, there's so many good practices and standards we have, and they're now more merged together. It's not just IT for IT, it's a TOGOF, it's the digital body of knowledge. There's so many arguments, and we're now looking in, but Lars, we're looking into the old IT for IT forum to bring that all together as well. Now, if you, if you look at all the challenges we have with the, managing this new digital ecosystem, uh, it, it's, it's still amazing what's happening out there, right? Uh, and there's still so much to do. That's why I sometimes create those songs about getting it better, faster, safer, um, and creating better value for, uh, for the business. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rob. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you.